So this is how some race days start, right? E98 car, I think the battery's getting tired or whatever, get here, fired fine yesterday, it's cold out. So it's real hard to turn over, put the battery charger on it, it doesn't even hardly want to charge. So uh, trying to do everything I can, probably have to physically push the car out, let it sit in the sun, which will help it warm up and then it should start easier. Well, it is 10.02 and we just got the car started. Uh, finally found some jumper cables. Amazing how many people don't have jumper cables at the track. They do work better than a jump box. So I uh, finally got the car just cycled enough on the uh, key. Got enough ethanol built up in it. Thanks to Tim for helping me get it started. Uh, April and my dad both have other stuff going on today, so it's just me out here. And then Tim's helping me got it started. But we, uh, we're here in the tech lanes, just gonna let the car sit here and idle its life away, get some heat in it, and hopefully charge the battery up. All right, here we go. Gonna head out on the cruise. Kim's gonna follow it up. All right, guys, made it to the checkpoint. Same as last time. Got all the cars here. Decent little turnout. We got some cars from Denver up here this time. It's pretty cool. Dars with his olds is really fast. Josh Bender with his uh, Fox over there. That thing's real fast, too. There's definitely some fast stuff. John Jacobs, some of the other cars you guys have seen. Some guys from uh, Montana are here. It's really cool. Lots of uh, cool stuff showed up today. Got the car ready to go, keeping the charger on it. I'm gonna go walk the track real quick and see um, see how the track looks. They prepped it, this, they brought in an outside prep guy. So we're gonna see how well the track looks. Put kind of my A to B good tune up with a little bit more in it on the hit since it's a good track and see how well the car does. So we're gonna go up there and check it out. All right, went and checked it out. Track seems to be working pretty good for most people. Some people are spinning, some people are pulling wheelies. So gonna leave my tune up in it, try to throw quite a bit at it on the hit and we'll uh, just see how it does. It's part of the game, right? Track's been hooking pretty good, so hopefully everything goes pretty good here. Uh, it's definitely gonna launch, launch pretty good, I bet. So we'll see what the 60 foot is. Um, I have a chance of putting down the fastest time ever in the car today if I kind of turn it up to where it was at that last race that I won. And we'll just see what uh, what happens today. Pretty good turnout, beautiful weather. Pretty much the last track day of the year, so. Or uh, we actually got snow two days ago. So that's pretty crazy and now it's like 70s here today so good old colorado
definitely, uh, for to go 60, it had been a mid 120 mile an hour pass, so that's good. It's weird we're running during the day and you guys can actually see me on the return road and stuff out here. Grab the slip, see how it did. Go back and figure out what we're going to do for round one, probably. Thank you. 568, 123. Still not a huge mile an hour. Car doesn't seem to mile an hour like uh, I think it should or could, but uh, not bad. We'll uh, look at some data, figure out who we draw first round. If we draw definitely one of the faster cars, throw whatever the most I think I can throw at it is. Uh, so the cars kind of figured out over the last few races, or actually the last race that I won, that the cars like right on the limit of the fuel system. Um, so anything about more than 22 pounds of boost and uh, you run out of fuel system. That pass right there was probably close to 19. I mean, probably 18 and a half ish pounds of boost. So probably put 20 in it for round one and hope it's enough. Uh, maybe 22 if it's like right there. I uh, actually went to like an E90 instead of E98 and kind of mixed it in for this race to hopefully gain just a little bit of fuel system. But that's where we're at. Definitely some faster stuff, but we also got a car that's competitive to some. So we will adjust a little bit more. So 135 to the 60 foot, 568 at one, pretty much 24, 123.98. So uh, try to get the 60 foot down a little bit more. It's definitely taking it, so. Give you guys a little in between rounds behind the scenes. So usually come back, grab my fan, put it on the engine and switch it over to the other side. If it was hot out, I'd have two fans on it, but it's not too bad. Um, click off all the GoPros as soon as we get back, grab the laptop, Come in here, put a holly, download from ECU, key on, power on, download the tune, look at everything in the tune, just verify fueling and everything was good, like learn table wasn't doing anything crazy, kind of gives you a telltale, like if this was trying to add a bunch of fuel, you could tell that you're running out of fuel, but I know I'm good to this point, but it's like 0.5 learn, 0.7 learn, so just barely any compensation there. So if it's like that, just go ahead and clear the table, leave my map exactly how I want it. Come over, data log, download ECU data logs. This is, that's first pass, second pass. They always usually drop the last pass, it's the bottom one. Download it, I'll pull it up and check it out. Got the data log pulled up. I just kind of click over here. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but you got the purple's boost, red's RPM, green's TPS in it to win it. Um, so it made, looks like 18.6 pounds of boost right there, 11.3 AFR, 17 degrees of timing. So, I mean, it's not super aggressive. I've wanted this thing to live. So um, it left on almost nine pounds and it went at 135, 60 foot. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you could look at everything else. Like, fuel and all that like fuel pressure 54 psi so i'm gonna go ahead and turn up the two-step a little bit more put a little bit more on the gate a little bit more up top a little bit more everywhere and hopefully it'll go a low 60 or a high 50. the car's never been faster than 563 that was a 568 so pretty close tracks there here we go we just went up and did chip drop for round one uh drew probably i think the fastest uh true street car on the property went 501 fastest pass ever 563 Put a little bit more in it, pretty much all I can do to get up to my fuel pump. So hopefully got a 550 in it, try to chop down the tree. And he's been wheeling, so he hasn't been the most consistent, but it is a fast car. So just gonna do our best. Hope that we can squeak out a win here. All right, here we go. I'm gonna run Josh over here in this really nice box. He, uh, he went 501, his fastest pass ever earlier. So good for him, that's, that's awesome. That's moving for a car that you can drive around and go 50s, it's no joke, so. Makes me feel I need to have a 490 car for next year. <laughs> but we'll uh, we'll see. Try to do my best I can on the tree, and it's cooled down a lot, so traction could be an issue, but the track's been working pretty well all day, so we're just gonna do our best, and that's racing.
I thought he went red for a second, but... <laughs> When the car unloaded, it popped bad in the back, so I don't know what that was. It's kind of weird. Hey everyone, finishing up this video for you. Got done, lost that round, first round that day. Some you win, some you lose, but that's part of racing. Um, now it's time to kind of revamp possibly the, the build on Salty. Some things I've been thinking about a lot over this year is like, um, I, so Salty was originally my first build ever um, that I've really ever built car-wise and the wiring on Salty isn't ideal. Uh, I'd like to take the Holly HP, move it, mount it a little bit better, clean up some wiring, clean up all the relays. Uh, since I've had the Holly, Holly's came up with like the uh, little trans brake protection module, things like that. So I'd like to work on some of that, just use some of the nice pieces that they've came up with, clean up all of that stuff. Um, and then I'd like to uh, possibly upgrade the engine, turbo, at least re maybe redo the turbo kit, maybe go to air to water, run C16 and pump gas next year, change up the injector setup because these injectors don't idle all that great and stuff. Um, go to like just kind of revamp, kind of renew everything on the car, not everything, but a good chunk of stuff on it. Um, if you follow me on my personal page, like on Facebook and stuff, I have put the engine and Salty up for sale. Uh, trying to get rid of the, just like it complete because it does work well. It works really well for somebody um, I just need to I'd love to go to like a six bolt setup or whatever um, I've even looked at like a re-sleeve aluminum deal to save some weight uh, I definitely want to get some weight out of the car throughout the winter and just I like, got the heater out of it now that we have Clyde um, It's a blast to drive and all of that stuff So mostly that would be street car and this can go a little more race car got some weight Try to make some more power and try to become more competitive because next year there's definitely going to be there already is in other places in the u.s cars that are going 490s and like true street trim so i'd love to get the car competitive kind of everywhere with that um and then also maybe run some small tire stuff as well depending on what rules come up next year that's always a thing throughout the off season so um stay tuned definitely for more things on salty maybe some updates some upgrades we're, we're heading into winter and it's that build season so hopefully um, I'll be bringing you guys some content of upgrading some things on Salty as well as some other stuff that I got planned. So if you would, please hit that subscribe button so I can bring you more videos. See you next time.